All right, hey guys, uh, it's Rob over at the Teeter's Telescopes Workshop again, uh, just putting together another tutorial video uh, for everybody. Uh, this time we're going to talk about uh, how to clean one of the uh, mirrors uh, from our Solid Tube Series telescopes, our STS line of scopes, our 8s, our 10s, and our 11-inch scopes, uh, which are in solid tube structures. Uh, we've gotten a lot of uh, questions over the years since we've introduced them. How exactly does one go about cleaning the mirror? Uh, when on a uh, typical STS telescope on this mirror cell, not shown here, but let me show you a different one. Uh, on this mirror cell, for example, there are electronics. All right, so we've got a fan here, we've got a connection, RCA connector, we've got a switch here on the flip side. Here's the fan, and then we've uh, you know got some of the electronics. So you could see in between here, we've got some wiring and some cabling going on here. So a lot of stuff you don't want to get wet. Right, so how exactly do you wash the mirror with water uh, but not harm the electronics? Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at this uh, sample uh, mirror cell that we have here uh, with uh, one of our 10-inch mirrors. What you're going to do is remember on uh, the other cell that we showed you here, uh, all the electronics are on this back plate. All right, so essentially the, teles the telescope mirror cell here is made up of uh, one plate and a second plate, all right, both aluminum. And you could separate this plate with all the electronics on it from the other plate. All right, so here's how, how we're going to do that. We're going to take this plate, which would have the electronics, again, apart from the other plate and the mirror itself by loosening the three knobs you'd use normally be using for collimation. All right, so we loosen them and turn them, all right, until they fully unthread. All right, so we'll come to a point where they are able to be completely re removed. So do that with all three. Once you do that with all three, this plate, which again would have the electronics on it, that's the problem, uh, this plate comes off. Just can go off to the side and you can remove the three springs, which are in between the two plates. And then all you have left is this triangular plate, uh, which is attached with silicone adhesive uh, through these six flotation points to the back of the primary mirror. All right, so now this, the important part here is that the aluminum is anodized, so it's hardened, and it's got a coating on it. Uh, all the hardware is stainless steel, and anything else that's not stainless steel or anodized aluminum is plastic. Uh, so again, everything can get wet, right? So no worries here about anything getting uh, damaged uh, from moisture. Here's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna zoom out a little bit. You have pan over here. All right, we're going to take a look here at this uh, uh, Rubbermaid container that we have here. It's a plastic container. I filled it up about four inches uh, with tap water in it, and then I'm going to add uh, this, a very mild uh, dish detergent. This one uh, that we've selected is made by Clorox, although on the back we make very sure there's no bleach in there, all right, even though it is Clorox, um, but it's gentle on hands. Uh, it doesn't have any um, any scent to it, so there's there's not a lot of additives to this, which is exactly what you're looking for. You want just soap, just plain soap. Open it up, uh, give a couple good squirts in there, drizzle it in. All right, then take your hand and stir it around. Get it all bubbly, get it all sudsy in there. All right, we're getting some bubbles in there now. Believe it or not, you're going to come over here, you're going to pick up your mirror. All right, your dirty mirror. All right, it's got some scuzz on it. Pick this up, gently place it, including the metal, everything's here still attached, and you're going to take it and soak it in the water. So there it is. Let's see if we get a better view here of it soaking in the water. There we go. So the mirror is in and totally submerged in the water. See if we get back out here, take a look from the side. We can see the mirror and cell are totally underwater at this point. All right, so, all right guys, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave that mirror in the water, totally submerged with the cell, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Just let it sit and soak. All right, uh, could either be face down, it's easier that way. Um, as long as you make sure that the tub doesn't have any grit in there, right? You don't want to damage the face of the mirror. Eventually, you're going to take the mirror 
and you're gonna flip it. And then you're gonna put it back in. So now it's face up. And then what I do is I go back and forth, I pick the mirror up, go back and forth, back and forth, up and down, all right, and then I let it sit and soak uh, some more. So that will uh, loosen up the grit that's on the surface of the mirror. Uh, it'll get nice and loose so that the next step, once it's been sitting there for 15 minutes, take your bare hands, no gloves, no cotton, nothing, bare hands, right on the face of the mirror, go back and forth on the face of the mirror. What this does, this removes the grit, but this will keep you, if you're using a cotton swab, you'd never know if you dragged a piece of grit across the face of the mirror, a piece of dirt, a piece of dust, um, you know, across the face of the mirror and scratched the mirror. When you're using your hands and your fingertips, you can feel, right, with your fingertips, any piece of grit or dust, which you would then immediately stop and not continue to drag, which you wouldn't know if you were using a piece of cotton. You would just drag it across, just trying to clean the surface of the mirror. So you, really this method, um, I've read about it a few times. I've been employing it a couple years now. I like it a lot. So you just move your fingers back and forth over the face of the mirror um, until you remove all the grit. Back and forth covering every square inch of the mirror, right? And doing that. Now what we're not gonna cover in the video here uh, since we don't have enough time here, uh, let me back out here on the camera. We could take a look here, get me back in the picture. All right, hey guys. Um, what we're not gonna cover uh, in this video is the next step, which is pulling the mirror out, tipping it on its side, and then rinsing it with distilled water. All right, that would be the, the next step that would uh, remove any of the minerals left uh, deposited from the tap water. Um, and then it get the rest of the soap off of the mirror and uh, if it's successfully cleaned uh, the water should just sheet uh, off the face of the mirror and uh, you should be in very good shape. Um, but the magic of this whole thing is and that people have been afraid of with uh, cleaning our STS mirrors is how do you handle the mirror cell? How do you manage the mirror cell? Um, you know, uh, because you would think you don't want to get that wet. But we've designed it in such a way where it can get wet. Uh, there's no big deal. Uh, the only thing you may have to do while this is sitting and drying before you put it all back together, right, because you don't want to put this back uh, together if it's still wet with the electronics. You want to avoid that. Um, is that you may need to get in there with a hair dryer uh, to blow uh, or to dry, I should say, to evaporate uh, the, um, the water that remains in between some of the parts. Um, you know, but you, you'll get to a point where it doesn't much matter uh, just how wet it is. You can move on because it'll evaporate over time and you'll be in good shape. So hopefully this video here, guys, uh, definitely helped you not be too afraid of, bring the camera back over here, being too afraid of, there we go, of washing your STS, your solid tube series telescope mirror 